It's time to get excited for the next generation of games. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Soon we will learn details about the next Xbox console. Mark your calendars for Tuesday as CNET brings you live coverage from the Xbox unveiling event. The rumors so far indicate Microsoft will call this the Xbox Infinity and that it'll have the ability to play Blu-ray discs and it'll also act as a type of cable box for recording shows. There's also been a report by The Verge that Microsoft will get rid of Xbox points and instead it'll have people use gift cards and credit cards for payments to simplify things. We'll see what Microsoft says on Tuesday. I'll be co-hosting our CNET live pre-show, which you can tune into at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. Yahoo has been busy lately trying to revamp its image and add new features. The Yahoo News Feed now includes tweets from politicians, celebrities, and media outlets. And there are reports that Yahoo is trying to buy the popular blogging site Tumblr. The price tag could be as high as a billion dollars. Buying Tumblr could help Yahoo bring back a younger audience. If you're a big PC gamer and you like being the first with new gadget concepts, then you'll probably be someone who will pre-order the NVIDIA Shield. Pre-orders have begun for the Android-based portable gaming system. You can find it at Newegg, GameStop, and Canada Computer for $350. If that sounds like a lot, that's because it is a lot. You can get the new Wii U Deluxe Edition for that price. We first saw the Shield at CES, and it's this controller with a flip-up 5-inch touchscreen, and if you have a high-end NVIDIA-based PC, it'll stream full PC games over a Wi-Fi connection, so you can start playing on your PC and then pick up a game back in another room on your Shield. There's a new app to help you identify products that support the causes you support. It's called Bicot. And the idea is that when you're at the store, you can learn more about a company by scanning the product barcode. And then you vote with your wallet if the company supports the causes you believe in. As an example, let's say you support the idea of labeling genetically modified foods. When I scan the barcode of my lunch, Stouffer's Frozen Turkey Tetrazzini, classy, I know, it told me the parent company Nestle donated more than a million dollars against the campaign to require GMO labeling in California. So it's an interesting look into the products you buy. There are all sorts of campaigns, some around human rights, the environment, and social responsibility. The app is a little buggy as it struggles to deal with high traffic, but it is free for iOS and coming soon to Android. That's your tech news update. You can find more details at cnet.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.